we were told in debate last week, don't want to hear any more about social media, violent video games, Hollywood, mental illness, and they sure don't want to hear any more about prayers. They're disgusted hearing about prayers. Don't want to hear any more about fatherlessness, drug use. Look, maybe if we heard more prayers from leaders of this country instead of taking God's name in vain, uh, we wouldn't have the mass killings like we didn't have before prayer was eliminated from school. Man, every single mass shooting passes by and you think that the weasel sort of uh, spineless response from the GOP can't get any worse and yet somehow with each passing just gut-wrenching massacre, uh, the response just gets more and more feeble, more disgusting, and just unbelievable. Our recent entry into ridiculous responses to mass shootings comes from none other than Congressman Louis Gohmert of Texas. Now, Congressman Gohmert, uh, you know, his, his thing is that he believes a lot of these shootings would have been averted or could have been averted if, if only children were still allowed to say prayers in public school. Never mind that these children could easily, you know, say prayers at their home, at their church, whatever. It's not like they've been deprived of prayers, but it's that they couldn't do it at school specifically that, you know, uh, is it hasn't been a hindrance to these mass shootings. Of course... Louis Gomer doesn't want us to think about the fact that he's a member of one of the most powerful governing bodies the world has ever seen. Um, <laughs> you know, forget about that. He doesn't want us to think that our elected lawmakers have the agency to go out and do the jobs that we've asked of them, you know, um, in their capacity as elected officials. Uh, you know, it, it, it's not up to them. They don't have the power. It's just it's just all about prayer. Um, the 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 mighty federal government um, is too is too weak to protect our children from being massacred at school. Dylan Roof, require. the shooter in Charleston, South Carolina, should have never been able to purchase a weapon because of a hole in the background check system where the investigator just didn't bother to get the man's police record. So if we can fill some of these holes, it, it, history shows these guns would have been kept out of the hands of some mass shooters. Maria, if they had done their jobs and followed the law as it was, they wouldn't have been able to get the guns. So just adding more laws to laws that were not being followed to begin with, like the Air Force, I don't see how that's, if they can ignore one law, they can ignore two laws. So what are you and prepared that's what to do? Air that was Dagan, this is Maria. What are you prepared to do then? We make people follow the law. Things can feel really bleak when you see the situation that we're in. Um, and absolutely nothing can be done. I'm not one of these people who thinks that, oh, just because we couldn't drop the perfect law that would have pinpointed this specific guy and stopped him means that we should do absolutely nothing. I don't believe that. And the fact that we see no movement is pretty depressing. But I do want to lighten folks up because Louis Gohmert is, if he's one thing, he's consistent in how absolutely batshit crazy he is in the things that this man is willing to say. I just wanted to drop a couple of my favorite Louis Gomer quotes on you folks at home in case you weren't familiar with the congressman. First up from Louis Gomer on his opposition to the gays. And I know when I was in the army at Fort Benning um, and the, the young man there in the barracks could not control his overt feelings of homosexuality and so he misread indications from another person in the barracks and uh, found out that he had misread when he crawled into his bunk with him late one night and uh, his advances were not met with the kind of affection that he had hoped. Um, that's not good for the good order and discipline. I, I really wonder how many people in this body who had the ultimate power to decide whether humanity would go forward or not, whether it was an asteroid coming something that would end humanity on earth as dinosaurs were were ended at one time okay we've got a spaceship 
that can go, as Matt Damon did in the movie, plant a colony somewhere. We can have humans survive this terrible disaster about to befall. If you could decide what 40 people you put on the spacecraft that would save humanity, how many of those would be same-sex couples? More greatness from Lu the great Louis Gomer uh, on appointing an openly gay army secretary. What do you think they'll think when they hear that not only did we tolerate uh, what was being done to their boys by people under our authority, but we turn around and uh, approve a secretary of the Ar army that they, as moderate Muslims, believe is uh, just an atrocious, th uh, atrocious thing. They're going to think that that is quite consistent with us approving of what was going on between the uh, older men in authority and these boys. Yes, that's our great Louis Gomer equating being gay with loving little boys. Uh, and I could go on for days with this clown. Uh, so I'm just saying you guys shouldn't be surprised by what comes out of this clown's mouth, especially as it pertains to a subject matter in guns and, uh, you know, regulation of them uh, that Republicans up and down the board just cower in fear time and time again.